it's a lot of fear, and I think there's a lot of anger also on my part, as well as that of other members of my community. Um, it's not just about these specific incidents. Really, there's a history here of police brutality coming in a more extreme manner uh, when it's when you have people of color, specifically African American black people in America, and it's it goes on and goes as far back um, as really an Emancipation Proclamation, and, and it's just the fact that here we are in 2014, and people want to think that we've progressed these points where race isn't a factor anymore, and I've heard the term post-racial come out a lot, especially since President Obama was elected, and the fact is it's just not true. Race is still very much a factor, it's still very prevalent in our society, we can still see the different ways in which black people as well as other racial minorities are disadvantaged by the system, and in this case specifically, uh, the justice system, the component of the system, which is justice. I was seeing all these posts on social media, specifically Facebook, about um, how people um, are unhappy with, with the, the verdict, and I was like, what can I do to get students to get outside and actually do more than polls? I hope everyone takes away, away the idea that you can do more. Um, I hope this, this whole mural, the idea is to um, send a message out only to the students and, um, and, and gains the residents, but to the, the mayor, the, the governor, the GPD, that this issue is as big as the 34th wall. It's not just Ferguson, not just New York, this is everywhere. We all need to focus on, on this issue at hand and move forward and 